Hi guys, welcome back. This is Professor Rank. In this video, we're going to continue our series on Python GUI programming using tkinter. And specifically, we're going to start talking about creating list boxes. All right, so what is a list box? Well, I'm going to show you what an example of a list box is. Here you go. So you've got a list of items that you can select in one or more configurations that you could have execute a handler, have some logic execute based off of what you selected and so on. So we'll cover the list boxes across a couple of different videos because there's a lot to, to cover here. So in this video, we'll just cover the basics of getting it set up, right? So having the window appear, um, as you can see, and then populating the list box and you know, kind of controlling a little bit of its appearance. And then uh, in the subsequent video, we'll look at ways that we can change our selection or how we select things in the box, how we can execute code based off of the selections and so on. So we'll get a little bit more sophisticated later, um, but we'll split it across videos so that way we're not trying to cover too much uh, at once. Okay, so let me switch you on over to, uh, switch on over to our Visual Studio and we will go ahead and start typing some code right so this is so we're gonna be using tkinter here just as we have been for the entire series so we're gonna to have to import tkinter and we'll put our UI code inside of a class so we'll just call this class GUI all right and we're gonna put the main logic for setting everything up inside of a uh, init method okay so so we'll go ahead and define that, define it itself, okay? And the first thing we need is to set up the main window as we've done before in all the previous videos in the series. So we'll just create a variable called main window and we'll assign to it tkinter.tk, okay? And then the very next thing we're gonna do is we're just going to go ahead and set up a list box widget and how are we going to do that well we're going to call the list box or we're going to create a list box object by invoking um, code from the tkinter library so we're going to say self dot list box equals tkinter dot list box okay and so just like with other widgets with other types of containers we have to attach it to something, right? So we're gonna attach it to our main window. Okay, so it's gonna be a child widget of the main window widget, okay? So from here, what we need to do is we need to populate, right? So this was creating creating the widget, the list box widget, and then we need to populate our list box, okay, populate. So. That means that we're going to add choices. Okay, we're going to add items that get listed uh, there. Okay, so uh, well before I do that, let's actually go ahead and um, pack the list box. Right, we have to have it packed so that way it exists and is interactable, so we can interact with it, and so then we can um, go ahead and insert things into the into the box. So we'll say uh, listbox pack. Okay, and we're going to do a little bit of padding. Okay, so pad x equals 10 and pad y uh, equals 10, right? So that's going to give us a little bit of space around the edges, which you'll see when we run the, 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 the app, okay? So we'll do that and then we'll populate the list box. And in my opening demo, all I did was put the names of the days of the week, right? So we're going to use this insert method. And then the first argument is an index. Okay, corresponding to which position within the list box this particular choice should go, this particular item. So zero, first position, one, second position, two, third position, and so on. Just like indexing for um, you know any other kind of container, like a, like a list, for example, or a tuple. Okay, so we'll put the string Monday in the first position, and then we'll put Tuesday in the second position. Okay, and then we'll just, you know, I'll just duplicate that and make a couple edits here to kind of speed this up. 
Wednesday, Thursday, okay, Friday, and I need to update the positions, the indexes here. So that's three, four, five, okay. And uh, we got Saturday, Saturday, and then we've got Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Okay, so it's not too hard getting this thing um, set up. Okay, now we're going to need to start our main loop, just like we do with every other GUI app that we've been looking at so far. So let's start the main loop. Okay, and we're going to say um, uh, tkinter dot main loop. Okay, and that'll fire that up. Okay, and then. Uh, last but not least, we have to instantiate an instance of the GUI class, right? So that way all this stuff actually appears. So let's do that. We'll say um, if name equals uh, main, right? Okay. And then we'll instantiate. So we'll just say G equals GUI. Okay. Now, if everything went right, Okay, there's the basics of the class. If everything went right, then we should have a list box that appears. Okay, so let's go ahead and try it. And if there's any problems, well, we'll fix it. As you do. Okay, so there you go. You can see that there is our uh, list box that's appeared. Okay, so awesome. So what we'll do now is we'll look at ways to alter its appearance a little bit and um, we'll look at ways that we can populate the list box maybe a little bit easier or, or at least an alternative way of doing it okay so uh, you'll notice that we've got you know the the weird side we we had some extra space right towards the bottom of the list box between you know sunday and the bottom edge of the list box and then um, along the right hand side okay so what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to change that okay so we're going to see how we can change that and, and it's just going to be some arguments okay that we can assign to the list box constructor right so if you take a look at you know the list box self dot main underscore window what we'll do here is we'll just say something like height equals seven and width equals uh, 15 okay so what that does is is that specifies how many lines you're going to have in the list box right and how many characters wide the list box is going to be okay so let's run that and see the changes okay see how that appearance changes right so now you can see that that white space underneath sunday has disappeared and the white space to the right of the furthest y right in wednesday that's kind of shrunk down too so you can play around with the appearance of the list box that way okay now let's look at another way that we can populate the list box and you can use a loop to do that, right? So let's change it from doing a bunch of inserts here. Let's change it to populating the list box using a loop, right? So I could create a list, right? So instead of having, what, seven different insert calls here, what I can do is I can create a list of the things that I want in the box. This is probably a more usual way of doing it. I guess you could say a better way of doing it. Okay, and we'll put um, Wednesday, we'll put Thursday, uh, we'll put Friday, we'll put uh, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay, so we got that. And now let's let's get rid of this stuff because this is this looks kind of gross having all these repeated insert statements, right? To follow the dry principle when it comes to writing your software, don't repeat yourself. Okay, the less you repeat yourself, the less bugs you're gonna 
introduced into your code. So we'll also, another thing that we'll do too is we'll change the height in the width to zero. Okay, so you'll see another way that we can modify the appearance of the list box. Okay, so we'll do that and we'll also have ourselves a loop. Okay, so we'll say um, something like for D in or for day in days of week. Okay, so for each day in that list, then what we will do is we will call the insert method again. Okay, so we had list box dot insert. And for the first argument, what we'll do is we'll call tkinter.end. Okay, so or we'll pass tkinter.end. So what that does is that specifies that every new thing that you insert should go at the end of the list. So at the bottom of the list box. Okay, so we'll do that. And then we'll specify that we should append that day. So this for loop is going to loop through every single element of the list box. Okay, so on the first repetition, Monday is going to be assigned a day, right? And so then we'll insert at the end of the list box what's in day. Well, what's in day on the first repetition? Monday, right? So the next repetition, the same thing will happen with Tuesday and then Wednesday and so on. Okay, so let's test that and see what that looks like. Okay, so there you go. So there's there's our Monday through Sunday in the text box. So you can see there's no white space under the Sunday and there's maybe what? Hardly any, maybe one character worth of uh, white space to the right of the Y. So on Wednesday. So yeah, I mean, this is another way that you can um, alter the appearance as well as populate your list box. Okay, so that is everything that I have for you in this video. So what did what do we talk about? Well, now you know how to set up a list box. You know how to populate the list box, and you know how to fiddle with the settings a little bit to change with the change the overall appearance of the list box. In the next videos, what we'll do is we will learn how to select different ways or different ways of selecting items in the list box, how to remove items from the list box, how to execute or to call callbacks based off of selections that you've made in the list box. Okay. If you thought the video was useful, please consider giving it a thumbs up. If you thought the video sucked, you got that thumbs down as well. Please consider supporting the channel in various ways. You can leave a comment. You can subscribe. You can join as a member. You can hit the super thanks. Um, you know, whatever. Appreciate any support. Uh, that you have to offer and as usual if you're a student of mine please feel free to hit me up with an email for any questions that you might have stop by my office hours or stop by uh, zoom hit me up on zoom okay thanks for watching and we'll see you next time